Tired of spending hours piecing together modern UI components? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a great chat CN UI using V0 Vercel step by step. Hi, my name is Alex. I'm a senior software engineer with years of experience in full stack development. My goal is to help you become a more skilled and proficient developer. Let's get started. First, we're going to create a Remix app. In the terminal, run npx create remix at latest. The name of the app will be Remix Chat CN V0. I'm going to use Remix instead of Next.js to show that you can use Chat CN with any type of React framework. The app has been created. Let's open it in Visual Studio Code. The next step is to initialize Chat CN with npx Chat CN at latest init. We are going to select New York style, gray color, and CSS variables. Besides installing all the necessary dependencies, ShadCN created components.json file, updated tailwind.config and tailwind.css, and created utils file in app lib folder. Let's open tailwind.config.ts file. ShadCN for some reason added new lines and spaces for font family sans array, let's go ahead and get rid of them. The next step is to head over to v0 chat where I've already prepared some prompts to streamline the process. I asked v0 to generate three pages for us, a generic landing page, a basic login page, and a simple dashboard. These are the pages we'll be creating. As you can see, the landing page was successfully generated as version 1. When I requested the creation of a login page, v0 updated the output resulting in version 2. This updated version includes both login and landing pages integrated together. So we will use version 2. Let's click on Add to Code Base to copy the generated command. Then paste it into our VS Code editor. Using the link from v0 chat CN installed additional dependencies and created seven files. It also tells us to review v0 generated code before integrating it into our project. We will definitely do that. Since we're working with Remix instead of Next.js, some adjustments are necessary. We are going to locate page.tsx file generated by v0 and move its content into the underscore index.ts file within the routes folder. First, let's copy landing page function from page.tsx and use it to replace index function in underscore index.tsx file. Next, let's copy imports from page.tsx file and move them into underscore index.tsx file as well. Let's update Next.js's link import with Remix's link and update href properties on the links to two properties so the links work correctly in Remix. We're all set. Let's save changes and delete page.tsx file. Next, we're going to update the code to make login page work in Remix as well. But before we do that, if you are learning something new, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Let's move the login folder into the routes folder and rename page.tsx to route.tsx. Update the use router import from Next.js to use navigate from Remix, swap variable router for navigate and call navigate dashboard instead of router push when user login is successful. Finally, let's go back to underscore index.tsx file in the routes folder, find the button get started, wrap it in the link that navigates to login page and rename the button to say login. Now, when a user clicks on this button, they will be redirected to login page. Let's type npm run dev in the terminal to see what we've got. Let's go to localhost 5173, and as you can see, we have our application with a landing page. However, it's a little bit offset. To fix that, we're going to go back to VS Code in the underscore index.tsx file we add flex and justify center classes to all of the section HTML tags. After saving changes and visiting the landing page again, we can see that now it is centered. If we click on the login button, we're going to be redirected to the login page. 
If we enter email and password, and it doesn't matter which ones, since the login logic is not wired up, we will be redirected to the dashboard page. However, we don't have the dashboard yet. So let's go ahead and create it. Back in V0 chat, I'm going to scroll all the way down to where I asked to generate a simple dashboard. When I click on a simple dashboard, it shows a nice dashboard V0 generated. Let's go ahead and copy the command by clicking on add to code base. We're going to paste this command in the VS Code's terminal and hit enter. ChatCN asks if we want to override card.csx. We don't. Let's select no. We select no for button.csx and input.csx as well. ChatCN created a dashboard page in the dashboard folder and added several components. Let's make updates so they work in Remix. We're going to move dashboard folder inside the routes folder and rename page.csx to route.csx. Let's also update imports by changing dots in the path to a squiggly line or tilde. Now imports look good and we can save changes. In the components folder in main nav.csx file, v0 used a link from Next.js. Let's update it to the link from Remix. And as before, we change href properties to 2 on the links components. Recent sales.csx component has links to avatar images. However, we do not have those images. Instead, we can use avatars from uiavatars.com. Let's go ahead and paste the links to the avatars in the avatar image SRC properties. You can also update the names in the links to match the person's name. So instead of John Doe, we can put Olivia Martin, Jackson Lee, and so on. Also, in usernav.tsx, we have an avatar for logged in user. Let's go ahead and update the link to it as well. We can name logged in user John Smith and use JS initials for the avatar fallback component. We can now save changes and run npm run dev. Let's go to localhost 5137 in the browser. It may take a little bit of time to reload. If we click on the login button, it will redirect us to the login page. Let's enter email and password to login. The login page redirects us to a nice looking dashboard. Obviously, to actually log in a user, you will need to do some work, but this is a topic for another video. I hope this gives you a clear understanding of how tools like ChatCN and V0 streamline UI development, making the process faster and more efficient. I chose Remix for this project since it can sometimes better suit specific requirements compared to Next.js. If you are interested in exploring Remix further, especially its powerful routing features, be sure to check out my video on Remix routing.